Welcome, boys and girls. It's time for me to show you the grading log. This is the log I will use so you will know what will be graded when, so that I don't have to answer questions about what will be graded when. Let's walk through it. Biology, this will be very, very similar uh, when we talk about like a scrum board later. But basically, it's a good workflow tool. So, as you can see here, I've got the backlog. This would basically be like your to-do list. For the most part, it's gonna be in order of when things will be graded. So, if for example, I were to decide that I wanna do yet another assignment before some assignment, then, you know, I can just move it up one like that. This is your key, uh, this, don't worry about the numbers, that's just what shortcut key to add these colors to it. But anything with the orange will be for applied science, the purple will be for biology. When I start grading assignment, I will move it over here. And just like any other good Scrum Agile board, only one thing should ever be in process by any one person at any one time. Since it's only me, you're usually just gonna see one thing here. So you'll know that I'm grading on now the first assignment and coming up next will be yet another assignment. How exciting. When this one is graded, then I will move that card over there to the graded slash completed pile. And another one will take its place. And I will grade and finish and grade and finish and grade and hopefully finish all of this work on any given night. If I don't get to something, you'll see it here still in the backlog. If I'm still in the process of grading something, you'll see it's waiting here in the graded slash working on pile. We can actually scroll over here and you'll see I've got a whole section here for added to progress book. Once the assignment has been graded, it will come over here and I will add it to progress book. And when that goes in, you'll actually see the date it was added to progress book. Now that is not the due date. That is just the date it was added to progress book. The due date may be earlier. It may be later. It'll probably be earlier, maybe same day. But as I grade these, then you can see, and if you're in biology, you could ignore both these two. You're waiting on these next to I me mean, to get down to the answer is yes. So this is the general way that you can use uh, Trello to keep track of what I'm gonna grade and when. And this is also a good introduction for how a uh, to-do list can be managed from within Trello. Once I've uh, graded everything, you'll notice this assignment over here that says yet another assignment, that was, uh, it's over here. It's been graded, it's been added to progress book, but you can see here I got a corrected slash late assignment. Those will always be graded last. So those will always go at the bottom. So anything else that's in the backlog will be above it. But once those have been cleared and graded and everyone is nice and happy, then I'll start working on the late assignment. All right? So I want you to know that you know you, when I take corrections, I will grade those. I'm happy to grade those, just they're lower on the priority list because I've got to be able to uh, work as efficiently as possible. And batching the uh, larger groups of assignments, the things that I'll have more of, so the things that were turned in on time, that's going to be the most useful thing. That's going to be fastest, and that should help me clear the backlog faster, even though you may be waiting on some of those late or corrected assignments for a much longer time.